let us look at the concepts convergence and divergence activity take five sticks from a matchbox arrange the sticks in such a way that their chemical coated ends are meeting at a point here the chemical coated ends are converged now arrange the sticks such that the other ends are together and the chemical coated ends are away from each other here the chemical coated ends are diverged when light rays meet at a single point it is convergence of light when we want to concentrate light at a point converging beam of light is used doctors use this type of beam to concentrate on teeth ears eyes etc converging beam of light is also used in solar water heaters and other devices when light rays from the same point source are spread away from each other it is divergence of light when we want to spread light from a source diverging beam is used example in street lights table lamps etc convergence and divergence of rays by concave and convex mirrors are shown here let us see how images are formed by a concave mirror take a large shining metal spoon bring it deeper that is concave surface closer to your face can you see your image we can see an upright and magnified image now take the spoon away from your face what change do you observe in the image the image becomes smaller and smaller now repeat the activity by turning the convex surface of the spoon to the front what changes do you notice in the image we can see an upright and smaller image the nature position and size of the image formed depend upon the distance of the object from the surface images formed by a concave mirror can be studied with the help of ray diagrams a ray diagram is a specialized pictorial representation used to trace the path of a ray of light for drawing ray diagrams rules based on laws of reflection are used rule 1 If the incident ray is parallel to the principal axis then reflected ray passes through the focus rule 2 if the incident ray passes through the focus then the reflected ray becomes parallel to the principal axis rule 3 if the incident ray passes through the center of curvature the reflected ray traces the same path The ray diagrams for the formation of image by a concave mirror for various positions of the object are illustrated here. Summary of image formations is given in this table. Let us look at the sign convention for reflection by spherical mirrors. According to the new sign convention, the pole P of the mirror is taken as origin, the principal axis is taken as x axis of the coordinate system the sign conventions are as follows 1 the object is always placed on the left of the mirror 2 all distances parallel to the principal axis are measured from the pole of the mirror 3 all the distances measured to the right of the origin are taken as positive while distances measured to the left of the origin are taken as negative 4 distances measured perpendicular to and above the principal axis are taken as positive 5 distances measured perpendicular to and below the principal axis are taken as negative let us look at the mirror formula when we measure distances according to sign conventions we get proper values of object distance image distance and focal length the object distance u is the distance of object from the pole the image distance v is the distance of image from the pole the focal length is the distance of principal focus from the pole 
The relationship between object distance, image distance and focal length of a spherical mirror is the mirror formula. The mirror formula is given as 1 upon V plus 1 upon U is equal to 1 upon F. This formula is valid in all situations for all spherical mirrors for all positions of the object. Magnification by spherical mirror Magnification produced by a spherical mirror is expressed as the ratio of the height of the image H2 to the height of the object H1. It gives the relative extent to which the image of an object is magnified with respect to the object size. The height of the object is taken to be positive as the object is usually placed above the principal axis. The height of image is to be taken as positive for all virtual images. However, it can be taken as negative for real images.